is our third and final example of first order differential equation separation of variables. So our third example is exercise 36 of page 26. Okay. So you, we are now uh, uh, solving uh, some difficult separation of variable problems and we are asked to find the general solution since we don't have any initial conditions. So the equation is a squared dx is equal to uh, x times the quantity x squared minus a, a squared dy. So again, our variables here are x and y and a is assumed to be constant. Now this is one of the differential equations wherein separating the variables is not the issue. Because as you can see, in the given equation, you can clearly uh, see how easy to separate the variables already. Okay? So, if you look at our first step, you have already separated the variables. Okay? Uh, the uh, left side of the equation is now a squared dx all over x times the quantity x squared minus a squared is equal to dy. So you have already separated the variables x and y. The challenge really here for this problem is the integration of the left side of the equation. Now based on our knowledge on integral calculus, by inspection this integral suggests substitution. And we know there are two types of substitution. We have algebraic substitution and we have trigonometric substitution. But by inspection, it's easier to do trigonometric substitution. Now, what are we going to substitute for x here? Now, based on the identity, we would want to arrive at second squared of theta minus 1, which is equal to tangent. So, we let our x equal to a secant of theta and differentiating x will give us a secant theta tangent theta d theta. Okay? So we, we, we choose this term because again we want to arrive at an identity secant squared of theta minus 1. Now let us substitute x and dx to the left side of the equation. So we have now uh, dx is uh, a secant theta tangent theta d theta. And our x is a secant theta. So since our x squared here, so we have now a squared secant squared of theta minus a squared. Okay. So next, we factor out a squared since a squared is common. So what remains inside is second squared of theta minus 1. And since the square root of a squared is a, so we struck the square root of a squared, which is now a, outside of the square root sign or the radical sign. Okay? And we, we just copied e, a secant theta in the denominator and we multiplied a squared and a, which will give us a cubed. The rest is just the same. So next is we just uh, multiplied a and a in the denominator so we get a squared. And secant theta, we just copied it. And we extracted the square root of secant squared of theta minus 1 which will, this is an identity equal to tangent squared of theta and the square root of that is tangent of theta. And we just copied our uh, numerator equal to dy. Now we will uh, uh, make eliminations here. So we have secant of theta, secant of theta, cancel. 
tangent of theta, you have tangent of theta, cancel. So you have a squared, a cube rather, over a squared. So what remains in the uh, left side of the equation is a d theta equal to dy. So we can now integrate both sides of the equation. Integral of a d theta is a theta is equal to y plus c. So next, we have to determine what is our theta. So based on our assumption that uh, let uh, that x is equal to a secant theta, then it follows that secant theta is x over a. And since we are after for theta, then from here, we know that theta is equal to arc secant of x over a. So we just uh, substituted theta for arc secant x over a multiplied by a equal to y plus c. Okay? The next step is we divide the entire equation by a. So we now have arc secant x over a is equal to y plus c all over a. And simplifying further, we have now x over a is equal to secant of y plus c over a because this is arc secant. Solving for x or expressing our answer in terms of x, then we have x is equal to a secant of y plus c all over a. This is the general solution to the differential equation and our final answer. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, you have already gained insight, knowledge on how to solve first order differential equation separation of variables. And this will be our uh, final example for this topic. The next video will be an example of a homogeneous differential equation. Thank you very much, dear students, and good day.